world moon and the coronet of stars, apart from being one of my favourite titles for a play ever, is about finding your one great true love. Well, I would like to say that ultimately it is a love story and it is a lovely way to say to people who are suffering from a broken heart that there is hope. It's a story about a girl who's got two contrasting experiences in love and in one of them it kind of doesn't end very well for her and in the other one it's a, a nice happy romantic comedy ending. It, it's not so often that you find a project that um, speaks directly to you in a way that is so powerful that you absolutely want to be involved. It's been a new process because I haven't ever done a two-hander before. I have enjoyed working with Lee Lewis so much. Matt and Sylvia are so difficult to work with. She's hilarious. Oh, terrible. Normally in a rehearsal process uh, you, get, you get time to stuff around when the director's talking to someone else. You know, dredging into all that pain. <laughs> it's, it's actually made me realise what it's... Uh, that we don't do this very often. We don't make works about joy very often. It could be done in a very serious manner but this we're really trying to bring some some irreverence and some some lightness and, and fun to it. It's the reason people read romance novels or action thrillers or things like that. It's a window into something that's it's not a real world it's our best world. Um, probably the funniest moment so far is um, uh, a few days ago, we wrapped the day and Lee said to me and Matt, okay, well then tomorrow we'll pick it up from the sex with the bull scene. It's a really fun and, and beautiful play. So hopefully the people walk out of the theatre with, with, with a, a warm heart and a big smile on their face and, and either, either, either kiss the person next to them or go out on the street and find someone to kiss. Mm -hmm.